What's going on guys? This is the Magic Power here. We knew a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Different team as always. We have the Meg sorry about that. We have the Mega Houndoom specialty. Our not our not exactly our core. I'd say our core is probably in this in this team, probably Go Goat maybe. But I mean it in terms of uh, in terms of uh, pure pure leadership, it's probably Mega Houndoom because it is the Mega it is the alpha of the group. So he leads off with the Lucario, as I lead off with the Steel Horns, my Go Goat. I do pack Brick Break on this thing, so he goes for the Dragon Pulse. Knowing that I am decently special defensive, I'm like 200 at level 50. Oh wait, no, that's my HP. I am decently special defensive. It's not stab, so I am going to take that well. Um, I, w I was thinking that he might switch out here because it's the Lucario. It's free Lucario just leaving. So in the end, I did end up. I do eat my Stitcher Fairy after the close combat, bringing me at red, and I do end up going for the Brick Break. Taking out this Lucario is a big asset to my ruination of this battle, but it's not over yet, because this still looks pretty free on, on the regular defensive side, and uh, anyone can just come in and revenge. She does go for the Shadow Ball, I'm like, I'm gonna uh, live that, and I set off a Leech Seeker, not knowing that, I mean... I do have Horn Leech, but that wouldn't do. Uh, that wouldn't be as effective as Leech Seed, because Leech Seed is an ongoing thing. Sorry about that. And Horn Leech probably would have done less than what the Leech Seed carried. So he goes for another Shadow Ball. Maybe he's Specs, so he didn't want to. Uh, maybe he's Specs, so he didn't want to lock himself into Sludge Bomb, but I don't know. So I go into Wolf Nation here. I know he's gonna switch out, so I just went. I just set off Flamethrower here. He goes into the Greninja. I, I did expect that i do run sludge bomb on this thing for fairies but i mean i did expect him to switch out into the greninja he, had, he actually had a number of things he could have switched out into but he just goes for the uh, greninja able to eat that flamethrower up i switch out wolf nation right here predicting like uh, I, I don't know he wasn't going for a dark type move i knew he was going to go for a water type move he goes for the water pledge. I don't know why. <laughs> this isn't JR, but I mean, if you saw the last video, right? water pledge is, I don't know what it is, but I have another citrus berry. I just, I just like slam, I just slap citrus berries on these guys. I didn't like, I didn't really have any other items that like, they were legitimate. So I do, un unfortunately, almost take them out, but I do not. So that really stinks like beauty butter, but that's okay. Because I can revenge with my Lux right now. I do pack priority quick attack here. Able to go for that. Take out the Greninja. But it, this was all about punch for punch. This was all about a uh, switch initiative. Who, who would who would get uh, good matchups. It was most of the time. I have to be honest. He did get a lot of, a lot of good matchups. Now here comes the stally kind of game. Like it's not exactly stally until the very end, but he I, he does go for the ice beam as predicted. Does not do much to my chandelier. I knew he was gonna switch out. The question isn't the who. He doesn't have his Granger anymore, but he does have the blasters. I wanted to predict that and go for the solar beam because that can hurt everything except for the Charizard pretty decently. But I just went for the flame burst. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna. Uh, do anything stupid, so, yeah, I could have set the sunny day up right there, and then got the one turn solar beam, that would have been fun, but, I don't think it would have killed, because it's not stab, I mean, it does do, like, 250 damage, because solar beam is so powerful, but she goes for the surf, as I switch out into luxury, we both get buffeted by the hail, and, uh, yeah, he's gonna switch out again, a lot of switches in this match, but just gonna have to deal with it. I do get go for the Thunder Fang, and uh, it's gonna do it's gonna do a, de a, a respectful amount for being resisted. Uh, I thought it would. I mean, I didn't really expect much less, but I do get the paralyzation, which was inevitable. It was gonna happen some sometime in this match, in this bottle. But yeah. so I go into the Chandelure. He really can't touch this thing. Right? You really can't. Like, what do Abominus moves learn? They learn, like, ice type moves and grass type moves. I mean, he, he could have uh, EQ, but he didn't. He just showed me that he wanted to switch up. 
I predicted the switch out into blaze into Blastoise and went for a solar beam. Very uh very not good from for me. But luckily he uses fly instead of like anything. Like fly was good but in hindsight, like it really I don't know. I had to I would have to see yeah, Dragon Claw probably would have been uh actually I don't know. Well the solar beam was on nothing, so he could have avoided this flame burst damage. I don't know, I'm just caught up in my own life cycle. So I do live on two with that one dragon claw, so it gets a crit useless. Unless that last dragon claw was gonna do one, crit would have gotten to two. But yeah. Sorry if I'm talking gibberish right now. Just my life right now. He sends out the Gengar as I went for the sludge bomb. Unfortunate, not gonna do too much at all because it is resisted and it should not even stab. Okay, country accents, no thank you. So she goes for the shadow fall. I do resist it, and I got the flamethrower, almost kill him, kills him. And then he goes for the non stab thunderbolt, and do still a decent help because that is a crit. And then I just go for the beat up, just to you know, super effective. I get a crit, so you know what, why the heck is not. He got a crit on his Thunderbolt, so, yeah. I think the Thunderbolt crit matter a little more than a beat-up crit, I don't know. Uh, so I decided to just stay and sack off this uh, Houndoom. Turns out I get the critical hit, which is very nice. I do sack off this Mega Houndoom. He does go for the Surf. Gave me um, a little initiative to go into my Luxray. Here's where, it, here's where it gets a little dicey, I think. Cause we're gonna we're gonna have to switch out a lot, and honestly, when I saw that when I when I saw the uh, Obama saw, I knew it was gonna be a little stally with the with the resistances, the Thunder Fang. But you know what? I mean, there was a lot of switching out in the next decency. I felt that it was a lot longer than it actually is, but I mean, what are you gonna do? I do switch out here into my Cell Gore. Predicting the any type of attack. This thing is very frail, but it does take that decent, decent soul well, I suppose. He's gonna withdraw. So going into the Charizard. His best play he could have made. I, I do predict that. I mean, Sludge Bomb probably, probably would have killed the. Uh, I do get the crit and the poison, so that is a shame for my opponent. Uh, without that crit or poison. I probably, he probably would have won the game easy mode, but, uh, yeah. Without the poison, I think I, I, he, it still would have been bad news for him, because he had, um, because the hail would have racked up on him. The next turn, it would have taken him out, so. Uh, I went for the sludge bomb, because I knew that it's super effective on this thing, and on this Obama Snow, and it probably would have taken out the Obama Snow. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to switch out. So Sludge Bomb did hit everything, or it does hit everything. So now I go for the safe stab, Bug Buzz. Gonna take out this Abomasnow, and from there, it, uh, it's pretty much a wrap. Because his last Pokemon, Blastoise, barely has any health. I just want to go for the Giga Drain, because it is super effective. Uh, yeah. So we're going to take this win. Um, thank you all for watching. This was a decent battle. It was a little longer than the others. Um, 28 turns, I believe, so thank you, Kirk, for that match. That was a very good one. But, uh, this, my team showed, proved to be, uh, proved to be the team. So, yeah. Thanks for, guys. I cannot talk today. Alright, I'm bulk recording, but thank you guys for watching today. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. See you guys later.